Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 15th of September. We have new mods and buckle in. We have a load of updates to go through. The updates today are as follows. From top left, we have got updates to the Seasons Geo Germany uh, Baltic Sea by Norm Atom FBM. Uh, Seasons Upper Bavaria Tegern Sea also by Norm Atom FBM. Seasons Upper Bavaria also by Norm Atom FBM. And Seasons Geo Northern Ireland by IRL Modding. We have got updates to the John Deere 7R, 8R, 8RT, 8RX, the list goes on, um, by S Seed Modding, S R I D Modding. Um, the Agronic WR500 by S808. OT and we've got the John Deere 6R series by Blauer. Um, have all that updates. The Lamborghini Nitro by Black Eyes Modding. The Cows Barn by Camelos0397. The new grain storage by Farmer5 Tom. That's had a few updates. There's a two or three different options on that now, like different buildings. The package with wind turbines by Razak Project Mecklenburg 17. Uh, the Karcher HD S690 by Driver300. The Concrete Silos by RL Modding. They've added a multi-fruit one to that, if I recall correctly. 5 million litre capacity, I think they have. The MRF Double Claw by Mr. Force Technic. And the John Deere Slice Weight by Camelos0397 have all had updates today. See, I told you. Um, I would suggest the John Deere 7R um, pack to go in and read the um, change log because it's huge the amount of stuff that's changed on that um, yeah, a bit bonkers anyway, mods for today in front of us we've got the old and new house by Kazani317 it's either like Zedun or Zedun um, this is a sleep through the night trigger fairly detailed, you can't go inside the house um, this is a, uh, it's a weird thing I think it's supposed to be like a reflection of what's behind you and all on the windows there's like pictures. I haven't really come across that before. Um but there are two of these, but obviously you can only place one sleep through the night trigger at a time. So the old one looks like this with the new sort of front extension, but the brickwork is all left exposed and hasn't been plastered or painted or anything like that. There's still loads of detail on it. Um this one is thirty three slots. Um the other one has got plaster work on it which has been painted so it looks like it's kind of finished the, the building process or however you want to look at it um yeah i mean it's just a really nicely detailed loads of texturing loads of stuff going on the triggers just at the door l3 i'm not tired i mean i am tired i'm shattered but not in game apparently um so here under farmhouses We've got the unplastered house and the plastered house. Um, like I say, same price. One's 33 slots, one 36. I know that sells, says two. I've already got one. That's why the slot count has dropped. Um, and the, other than that, the details are exactly the same. And it is a house for your farm. There you go. By Kazani317 and Zedun or Zedun. Moving on, we have got this. This is... The Grain Storage by Matthew FS. Mine's gone... Blank. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice one. This will use 40 slots, but again, it's fairly detailed. Takes up quite a big footprint, so you can have it more as a kind of yard as well as storage. I like the fact you've got kind of different, different sections to it. We've got a small bit up the end here. Which is just a little kind of, I say office, but little storage bit just inside. I don't think there are any lights on this one. Loads, like I say, loads of detail. Texturing's great. Then we've got, weird thing is, no sound effects, I've noticed. Eerily quiet doors. Um, cupboard space and a cooker and stuff inside. Again, you know, with any of these buildings, you could put grain in it. It says grain storage, or you can put vehicles in it, or you can put pallets in it, or whatever you want to put in it. The now legendary Twix, if you want to bring your Twix in, put your Twix down. Store that. We might have a pallet of Twixes. That's entirely your prerogative. Uh, then we've got this one here. 
Now there are lights in this section, but the trigger's a little bit finicky. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we go. Really bright in this bit. But this is the only bit that has lights. That bit through there doesn't. I don't think the next bit we're going to look at does either. I like the kind of pallet divides with some bags piled up and that one you've got another section there with the pallet at the doorway. There we go, lights off. And then we've got two garage sections at the end here. And then a covered section on the very end. Like I say, it's kind of, I don't know, multiple parts in one. Now it's only going to be for small to medium vehicles, you're not going to get massive stuff in here. It's not deep enough um, and probably not tall enough for some vehicles, but yeah, it's a nice mod, isn't it? It's by Matthew FS. You'll find this under placeables, under sheds. There you go, crane storage lane, 25 grand. Uh, like I say, 40 slots is fairly high. Once you bought the first one, it drops down to two. Um, yeah. Again, not much more else, not much more else, not much else, not much more to say about that. Moving on, actually, let's do this one. We've got this. This is a mower. This is by Consi and user B4D. It's um, only 1.8 metres, I think it is. There is a range of colour options you can choose from. This is a chain mower. You can just about see the chain poking out the side there. Um, and I think it's quite a low horsepower requirement as well on this. This will use seven slots. Um, options available on this. You'll find it under tools, under mowers. There we go. Uh, Koziarka. Does that mean mower? I'm not too sure. It's only 1,000. Requires 25 horsepower. Like I say, 1.8 metres. It will run at 6 miles per hour. Now, options available. You can see the chains underneath there that, that will flail out and cut your grass. Don't put your hands underneath there. Um, so, main colour you can pick for anything on this palette. Like so. So, you can have a brand new, lovely, all super duper, whatever colour you want. If you go for the old configuration, which is rusty, it doesn't matter what colour you have. If you've chosen any of the main colours, rusty will give you that colour, regardless. Let's turn it again. This drives me mad when you can't go back up when you're in the menu. So, I say if I go for yellow, then go down, rusty. You don't get a rusty yellow, you just get that rust colour across the whole thing. Um, but for you, yeah, only a grand. Hook it up. This might suit your needs if you've got a small plot where you're going to be doing mowing in someone's yard or something, garden. Just see that they go. the chains are starting to pick up speed. And away we go. Now, will it mow the other way? Does it have to be moving forward? No, it will mow the other way. So I suppose, technically, you could put it on the front, couldn't you? Let's try. Don't see the reason why not. Might be quite handy. I mean, I suppose it's not supposed to be on the front. Yeah, it will still mow. There you go. That's the mower by Consi and user B4D. Moving on. We have got this. I like this one. I know it's not a massive seed, or I know there's sort of no right, you know, we either get really small three metre ones or people want huge ones. I don't mind the sort of in-between ones, especially when you're kind of starting out. I find a three metre just takes too long to do fields. I like something around the six metre mark, and this is just the ticket. This is the Amazon D860. This is also by Matthew FS. Um, it's an Amazon. We've got a D8. 
thirty. We've had D eight forties, haven't we? So this is the D eight sixty super. It will hold two thousand liters. It will only seed, doesn't seed and fertilize. Really nicely detailed. All the pipes and tubes and all the various different bits you need. Although I've just noticed that rear section isn't attached. There's no actual connection. That's weird. Yeah, it's for all intents and purposes separate completely. I'm sure it's not supposed to be like that. Let's have a look at it in store. Uh, this you'll find under cedars. The price is cracking as well. 26 grand for a 6 metre. Requires 150 horsepower. Like I said, 2,000 litre. Um, this will do your main crop types, grass and oilseed radish for a cover crop. Um, let's have a look at it in here. Yeah, it's separate. I wonder if when I turn it on that's going to connect. So, oh, options, sorry. On the options you can have uh, narrow tyres, sort of standard tyres or wide tyres. I think I went for wide. That was the only option available. I do apologise. Uh, no, it's still floating, isn't it? Okay, well that's a bit odd. Anyway, um, we can open cover L1 and left on the D-pad opens the cover. Now I couldn't get this to fill up from the buy anything silo where it would drop into it. I had to do it with pallets because that's what I had. Um, but closed covers like so, nice smooth animation on that. Uh, we have ridge markers. Um, L1 and up on the D-pad does left marker, press it again, gives you your right marker, press it again, brings them both up out of the way. I've got it on wheat at the moment, but L1 and triangle, you can scroll through different crop types. Turn it on. Drop it down. And away we go. That seems to be bouncing a little bit. Hmm. I like the fact it's six meters. Couple, of, maybe that we might need an update. I think possibly for that kind of floating rear section. I mean, it still works. It's still doing the job. And for the price. Not too bad at all. So there we go. That's the Amazon D860 by Mephew FS. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. It's been quite, I mean, apart from like, the, the mental updates today, mods haven't been too bad. What's well, that, Tuesday? <laughs> I've spoke too soon. You know what's going to happen. It's going to go absolutely bonkers. Um, this is the Lizard slash Brow. I would say Brown. Browen or Bruffen? I think it's Browen. Um, 22 foot silage trailer by 4D Modding. 4D Modding puts out cracking stuff. Whenever, whenever a mod comes out by 4D Modding, you know it's going to be loads of detail, really crisp, nicely done. Um, Browen Engineering that makes these trailers is based in County Carlow in Ireland. Um, this is just really nice but obviously on console we have to come out with the lizard brand but it's a brown trailer um triple axle like i said really nicely detailed does have a rear trailer hitch i went for the carlo number plate because you know that's where they're from why wouldn't you that's the standard version i do even like the ratchet straps on the side look at that very nice indeed that's your standard version um, and then that's in this kind of silage extension. Now it does say 22 foot silage trailer, but as you'll see when I hook up to these, um, that one I think I put corn in, and that one's got potatoes in. So even in the full silage extension mode, it will take anything, it will take all of the crop types, which is really rather nice because in the smaller version, as you can see from the fantastic easy way system, 26,850 litres in the standard, and then in this one, whoop. We've got 30,850 in that one. Not overly expensive either, but very cool indeed. So, options available under these, you'll have them on, on these, you'll have them under tools, under trailers. 
Lizard Triaxle, uh, 24,500. Uh, it will use 15 slots, which isn't too bad, and take all of those crop types. Options available, we can change the rim colour. There's quite a lot of options on this as well. We've got um, some mats and we've got candies. And the candied, look at that. I mean, it may not be your cup of tea at all, but um, there's some really nice options for mats and yeah. Uh, main colour, again, anything on that palette. Whoa, okay, that's an interesting kind of colour. Galvanised, that's a nice look. I do like a galvanised trailer. Don't know why. <laughs> Peculiar, isn't it? Um, and then design colour is for your cover, if you have a cover. And we'll see in just a moment. So we can have it in grain trailer format, which is 26,850, or we can have with extensions, which takes up to 30,850, adds 2,650 onto the cost. But even so, for a 30,850 trailer, 27,975. I don't think that's too bad at all. I'm going to go back to that option because we'll go to tyres first, it's so we can have the cover. Um, we've got Lizard, Michelin, Knockin, and Trelleborg. The trailer borgs are just set standard on twin radial 560 R22.5s. Uh, the lizards, we've got FL550 60 R22.5s, and then we've got Rode 385 65 R22.5s. Um, then I think we're back to this, the flotations again. Then under Michelin, we've got Ride Max 560s, we've got SHA2 SHA2 460 70s, we've got Balloons 460 70. Cargo XBIB HD 560s, 525 65R20s, and then back to the Ride Max. Uh, and then under Nokia, we've got standard 380R24, and then back to the Trader Borgs again. Um, design standard or add toolbox, which is on this side. So no toolbox, toolbox. Then around the front there, we can have Add Easy Way, which is what I showed you. Um, or you can have both for 2000 extra, so you can have the toolbox and the easy way. And then we've got no registration. Now, uh, with 4D modding, there are a ton of registration plates. So again, you go for all the Irish ones, and then if we go backwards, um, we've got a few American ones, different states. Um, there's, yeah, there's a whole load to choose from in there. There's so many, it took me ages to go through, but there are a load. And then we've got cover, no or yes. And as you can see, our design color, I went for orange just to make, sure, make it stand out. That's the colour of your cover. So those are your options available on the trailer. Um, now what we'll do is hook up. There's a couple of things I wanted to show you. I mean, you've already seen the easy way, which is rather cool. When you open cover, L1 and left of the D-pad, it takes a little while. He says, there you go. Um, because I pressed it first, I thought, oh, it's not working. And I pressed it again. But what I didn't end up doing was I'd opened it and closed it again. Um, so closing it is rather quick. L1 and left on the D-pad. But opening L1 and left on the D-pad now. I suppose that's the simulation of it rolling up, you know, out of the way. But, um, yeah, very cool. Lights. Indicators. If we go through uh, extra lights... We've got that extra one at the back in the middle. I like this. L1, R1 and triangle to unload. There we go. Nice animation. That's a high tip on that, isn't it? Look at the detail underneath as well. All the mud flaps and very nice. Leave that to lower. Now when you drop it off, it drops to the floor, but then the support raises itself up. When I first dropped it off, I thought, oh okay. I thought it dropped into the floor. Sometimes we've had trailers that do that. Um, but once it unhooks, I'll show you with this one. Obviously the silage extension one doesn't have a cover. So what we'll do is we'll hook up this other thing I wanted to show you. We hook up then detach, it drops, oh, that's interesting, maybe because it's straight away, now that feels heavy, right, detach, right, so it drops to the floor, then it raises itself back up, 
nice very nice indeed so there we go that's the lizard slash brown one 22 foot silage trailer by 4d modding and that's it for the mods for today i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>